Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it is time for the Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, February 4th. This Roundup is not really rehearsed, not really thought out, I'm just going to kind of open my mouth, and whatever spills out into your ears, well lovely. So uh, the game in the background may or may not be Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine with some multiplayer action. I'm not really sure if I'm going to get it recorded, if not, I will uh, throw something else in the background, though I'm not sure what. So let's talk about the week that we just closed. Three videos this week, a video for the student game Deity, really enjoyed that video, and the interplay between light and dark, as well as getting to be a shadow god. That was pretty cool. We also did Marble Arena 2, another free title that was featured on Desura, the family-friendly 3D marble rolling puzzle physics game. And uh, I was really impressed by that game. I played it a little bit more after I stopped recording, and uh, I enjoy that game. I must say it's an interesting game, and it may be the site of a future free-for-all. Mmm, yes. Speaking of that, we also ended the free-for-all this past week on the 1st of February, and uh, the winner was... I don't know how to pronounce your name. Savon? Savon? I don't know. It's S-A-V-E-A-I-N. I don't want to mispronounce it uh, horribly, so I'm just going to say I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Congratulations to you. 353 crates. Oh my goodness. That was an amazing total, and uh, I really, really have a lot of respect for you for trying and then being beaten by Nitro Mountain and then trying again. Unfortunately, Nitro Mountain lives in... Uh, the land down under, which I neglected to remember, was in the future, so uh, there was a little bit of confusion about when the first actually occurred. Because for him, it occurs a whole hell of a lot earlier than it does for me here in the Eastern Time Zone in America. So he missed his chance to put up a, uh, a second attempt uh, on... Uh, <laughs> on the uh, 353 crate score. So uh, I awarded Nitro Mountain with a humble Android bundle for his trouble. I paid the minimum for that bundle, I will admit it, and uh, gave it to him. The minimum meaning like the $5 minimum. I didn't pay a dollar. I paid enough so that he got the bonus, but I didn't pay anything over that. For our winner, he got a humble Android bundle as well because he wasn't really on Steam and uh, was mostly a console player, so uh, it was very difficult to get him something, and he's in a foreign country, so it was very difficult to get him something uh, easily. So I gave him a humble bundle, but I donated 10 bucks to charity. So our prize budget was basically 15 bucks for the uh, for the free for all this month, and uh, five of that went to Nitro Mountain's prize, and 10 of that went to our winner's prize, Mr. S. I've also linked to his channel in my sidebar on YouTube, so you should check that out, and I added him to BigDavisCheap.com as well. So, uh, big congratulations, and thank you to the three participants, Matt from Impromptu Gaming, the Mr. Nitro Mountain, and, or Mr. The Nitro Mountain, and our victor, Mr. S. There will be another, um, another free-for-all. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to happen. I'm working on a custom level right now for uh, Stealth Bastard. The custom level is pretty far along, but I realized it's, it's really linear, and I need to put like some shortcuts or like some hidden stuff in there that will actually allow people to discover things that can help them to get through faster. Uh, because otherwise it's just going to be how fast can you run in this basically linear level to get where you're going. So I'm going to figure out some way to diversify the level, and we'll probably do that, I'll say the middle of the month, I would guess. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. So the last thing we did was the uh, fail video for my attempt to play Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, which was literally just me putting up the failure of, of uh, my recording session for uh, Try It for Kingdoms of Amalur. Uh, so that was, you know, fun. Uh, it was a reality of PC gaming. Uh, someone did chime in, I think it was Shintu, chimed in, and uh, he said that if you turn off post-processing, it should fix that. I never did try it, because by that time I had long since uninstalled it and already played it on PS3. So uh, speaking of playing it on PS3, on Big Dave is Cheap, I wrote an article on my experiences with Reckoning on the PS3 and sort of my thoughts and feelings on it. I'm still working my way into article writing. Uh, I'm a little sort of all over the place. Rereading that article, it, it felt kind of amateurish. Uh, I tried to sort of do some 
witty things and maybe they worked maybe they didn't but uh, I'm sort of working on it trying to get better at actually writing so uh, you'll see some writing stuff go up on bigdavidscheap.com uh, uh, about once a week I'm going to try to write some kind of a feature article and this time it was Reckoning in Retrospect which was uh, my look back at my experiences with Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning so check out bigdavidscheap.com if you would like to find out more information about that now let's talk about the future. And uh, Nitro Mountain probably already knows what I'm going to say because he is in the future. He is in uh, tomorrow by now. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the week that is to come. First off, there's a Humble Bundle going on, guys. Humble Android Bundle. It's on right now, and that's going to tie into what I'm going to do this coming week. I am going to release a video on two of the games, but it's going to be one video. It should be one about 25, 30-minute video, and it's going to feature uh, World of Goo and Edge. The reason for this is I've already done a video on Osmos. I've done two, in fact, and uh, Anomaly Warzone Earth just seemed a little bit too meaty to get into a sort of quick hit video. So, yeah, I'm going to save Anomaly for its own video, but that's not going to be coming out this week. So don't look for that this week, but look for that at some point in the future. So we're going to have that video as well as a video on Fortix 2. You may still have a few minutes to grab the Indie Gala number two, which is going on right now. Indie Gala, if you prefer that pronunciation. Uh, it should be ending at some point on Sunday, so you may or may not be able to grab that. Uh, but Fortix 2 was one of the games that was featured in that bundle. It is, uh, it's an odd sort of bundle. It's like the more you pay, the more you get, and it fe it heavily features a lot of music. Uh, some of the music is really good. From the first Indie Gala, they gave like five albums away. I was like five games and five albums or something. Some pretty good music in there. Some of it is, you know, dubstep, throwaway, bullcrap, but uh, some of it's really good stuff. So uh, I would check out IndieGala.com, uh, though by the time you go there, by the time you go there, it may be over, and I do apologize for that. So uh, Humble Bundle, Android Bundle, check out that video, as well as the Fortix 2 video, which will be coming out later in the week. Apart from that, I think that's going to do it for the week ahead. Hmm... Yeah, pretty much. One thing I will tell you is I had originally planned to do uh, Retro Roulette this week, but I'm going to push that off to next week. So the week that is coming was going to contain Retro Roulette, uh, but because of the Android bundle, I'm going to push that off one week uh, to the second week of second full week of February. So uh, watch for that in two weeks. And uh, yeah, is there anything else to talk about? Let's see. There is a uh, Warhammer 40K weekend going on on Steam. Uh, Dawn of War 2 Retribution is free to play in the multiplayer, so uh, check that out. It is an action RTS, you know, it has a lot of uh, emphasis on squad-based action and a low emphasis on economy and building your uh, tech trees and economy and stuff. Really, you just got to build a bunch of units, control points, kill people, and uh, it's a lot of fun, actually. I, I really enjoyed that game. Uh, I did make a video on it the last time it had a free-to-play weekend, so you can check the channel and dig that up from the vault. Uh, otherwise, Space Marine is on really good discount right now. It is about 15 bucks, I think, 15, 16 bucks, and that's a great price for a, what is this, it's like a 10 to 15 hour single player experience, and it has a, a growing uh, or a constantly expanding online experience. Uh, they have multiplayer, including uh, newly released modes, Capture the Flag, uh, they have co-op horde mode online which is really cool they have several uh, expansions to add uh, visual enhancements to the game uh, new kinds of armor if you're especially uh, Warhammer 40k uh, if you're especially a fanboy of Warhammer 40k you may want to buy the chapter armor for your specific uh, your specific favorite Warhammer faction your Warhammer chapter but otherwise that stuff's just uh, yeah whatever uh, they do have two expansions that actually expand the uh, the multiplayer. One of them is the Chaos Unleashed expansion, which I believe adds a couple of maps and the ability to play as Chaos, uh, which is the bad guy Space Marines, in the Horde mode co-op. They also have the newly released Dreadnought DLC, I believe, which is uh, actually adds in a Dreadnought, which is like a big giant mech dude, and um, adds some... Uh, new playability to the game. So the, the, the multiplayer is a little bit fragmented. When you are playing, you have to pick, you know, classic, Chaos Unleashed, Dreadnought, that sort of stuff. 
Uh, but there is an active multiplayer community. I'm always able to get a game when I try. So uh, I would definitely recommend Space Marine if you at all uh, if you are at all interested. You can go to uh, YouTube.com/tgn and look for the Space Marine show, where I have about 30 episodes of a Let's Play for the single player campaign, as well as a video on the multiplayer and my first impressions of the demo from way back in uh, September of last year when that demo came out. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it, guys. Check out that uh, Space Marine, or the, excuse me, that Warhammer 40K sale. If you are so interested, check out the new Humble Bundle, and check out my videos next week. All right, I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.